Grab your tinfoil hats and get ready for 11 months of speculation because the Star Wars Episode 8 title has been revealed and it has huge implications for the plot. Entitled The Last Jedi, the next movie in the so-called Skywalker saga will follow Rey's journey as she is trained by Luke Skywalker. But will she become a Jedi? The title casts doubt on this, as well as hinting that our favourite moisture farm boy may not survive the sequel trilogy. Let's take a look at the most obvious explanations for the movie's new title. Luke is the prime candidate for being the eponymous Last Jedi, and we were even told this back in The Force Awakens. Remember the opening crawl? Yup, right there, Luke is called the Last Jedi. Mystery solved, video's over. Except, what does this mean for Rey? It could be that Rey doesn't become a Jedi at all. Instead, she may decide to follow Kylo Ren's suggestion and fall to the dark side. We're not done yet. Or maybe she'll become something new, defying old ideas of light versus dark. In fact, Daisy Ridley herself already hinted that this may be Rey's choice. I don't know if I am a Jedi. I don't think I am. Nope. And also, we it's have this debate progress. about whether like Leia is because she uses her Force powers. Force, Just because just she's you... not like, oh, I'm going on an adventure like Luke. <laughs> Doesn't make any less Force power. That would certainly be an interesting plot twist. <laughs> or perhaps Rey will be the last one to become a Jedi after Luke has trained her. This implies that Luke himself will die, possibly in some grand final sacrifice. No! Or maybe he'll just curl up in a ball and go to sleep forever, like Yoda. After all Luke's been through, I wouldn't blame him for wanting to take an eternity long nap. We already know that Star Wars 8 will be a darker movie than The Force Awakens, and this could be because of Luke's death, as he leaves Rey alone in an unfriendly galaxy. But there is another. The marketing for The Force Awakens leaned heavily on the idea that Finn was a Jedi, showing his lightsaber battle with Kylo Ren. Of course, in the movie itself, it was Rey who discovered her Force powers. But there are still many clues that Finn is Force-sensitive. When the Hosnian system was destroyed, Finn looked up to the sky before anyone else, seeming to hear the screams of those who were being destroyed. Sound familiar? I felt a great disturbance in the Force as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Then there's the fact that Finn was able to resist a lifetime of mental conditioning and brainwashing at the hands of the First Order. Force-sensitive people are known to have strong minds, so perhaps Finn really does have the Force after all. If this is true, Rey may train him to become the Last Jedi. I mean, this one doesn't take much explaining, does it? Grammatically speaking, the plural of Jedi is Jedi. If Rey persuades Luke to start a new Jedi Order, both she and Luke, and maybe Finn too, could all be the last Jedi. And they lived happily ever after. Okay, such a happy ending doesn't sound very Star Wars. Moving on then. There's a strange note of finality in this title. Why do any of them need to be the last? After all, Yoda was considered to be the last Jedi until Luke came along, and before this, Kanan was training Ezra to be the last Jedi in Star Wars Rebels. Do or do not. There is no try. What does that even mean? The point is, there are so few Jedi left that any of them could be the last, until they train someone else. So what if they can't? It could be that the sequel saga tells the story of how the Force is destroyed, finally bringing balance between the light and the dark by erasing the Force completely. Except, the Force is created by all living things. It's energy surrounds us and binds us. So to destroy it, you might have to destroy all life in the galaxy. And that's just a bit too dark for Star Wars. Of course, this could all be Lucasfilm and Disney's way of keeping us talking and theorizing for the next 11 months. The Last Jedi is so tantalizingly vague, but also hinting at any number of possible plots that the title alone will make people want to see the movie. And this wouldn't be the first time a Star Wars title has been misleading. Return of the Jedi promised a new age for the Ancient Order, but The Force Awakens revealed this was just a pipe dream. So don't get too attached to any of these theories yet. Lucasfilm know their audience, and they know just how to keep us guessing.